You talk a lot about people have trauma, racial trauma. Were you racially traumatized? Um, you know, it's interesting. So when we think about trauma, right, trauma is anything that overwhelms uh, the nervous system, the body, our mind, our spirit. It's often frightening. So I think that there are different kinds of trauma. And I think that there are little traumas and I think there are big traumas. So yes, I think I've experienced the little traumas of racism. But I also think because um, my parents immigrated here from Haiti, I think I had a, I had a different lived experience. I think because I've, I'm of middle class, I have a different experience. There are some ways that I'm protected. I'm able-bodied, um, so I'm neurotypical. So I think I have been lucky that I, my impact of racism has been minimal because of the, the place I was born and the family I was born into and luck, right? Um, but I think a lot of people are not that lucky and experience significant trauma that's not acknowledged and it's racialized. Give me an example how you were racially traumatized a little bit. What are your little racial traumas? Yeah, uh, I hate, uh, I don't even know if I would say, so I would say microaggressions, right? Those are the little, little traumas. So I remember being a kid and, you know, typical like gender norms of um, wanting dolls. And I remember going to Toys R Us back when we went to Toys R Us to get toys and we went to the doll aisle and all of the dolls were white. All of the dolls were white and there was not a single doll that looked like my skin tone. And while I would say that's not a big trauma, but that's a little invalidation, right? It's a little way of saying, uh, we don't feel that we need uh, brown dolls. Um, so I think those are the little ways, subtle ways, right? Watching lots of shows and seeing either very few black characters or seeing them in very stereotype ways. But why would, you call, why would you call that a trauma if as a little kid you saw it on TV, it was pretty, they had good hair, and you just, you just as a kid, you were attracted to what you had seen on TV. Why is that a trauma? Um, I'm not sure I understand. You mean like if I see white dolls? Or right, when you were people? a kid and you see white dolls, and I you had seen them on TV or sure. somewhere else, why sure. is that a trauma? So... Uh, one of the definitions of trauma is neglect, right? And the absence of some of a positive experience. So these microaggressions that I talked about is the neglect or the absence of representation, right? And so this idea, that's why I said it's like a little microaggression in that absence. Um, because what it internalizes for me is a little bit of anti-blackness, right? A little bit of, oh, like, Brown people aren't as attractive. Um, they're not as beautiful. Maybe I should straighten my hair instead of keeping my hair nappy. Um, maybe I should um, like not want to go in the sun and have my skin get darker, right? Like these are the internalized European beauty standards that lots of people internalize because when they do not get messages or have representation that shows that they are beautiful, that they are valued. And do people know, do the blacks know that they're traumatized? If someone else didn't tell them, as a kid, for example, you grow up and you have white friends, you see white dolls and you see white stuff and you're just naturally attracted to it and you don't see it. Do you see it as a kid of being traumatized or are you just growing into life and the environment that is around you? Uh, I think... Uh, I think it could go either way. I think that some kids um, have a sense that something is off, but they can't put words to it. I think other, I think some ways that people cope is that's just the way that it is, right? That we don't expect more than that. And I mean, a lot of people that I work with, they just kind of think that's just the way that it is, right? And then as we think about those little microaggressions over time can become they can accumulate. It's like um, people say microaggressions are like death by a thousand little cuts or like a lot of mosquito bites. And then sometimes they go into therapy or they go into a workshop and they start to say like, oh, 
yeah, that happened to me. I didn't, I just thought that's just the way that it was. I didn't think, I don't, I didn't think of it as a trauma. And I think we don't talk enough about the wide range of trauma and how it impacts people physically, emotionally, their mental health. So I think a lot of people don't have the vocabulary of trauma because we think of trauma as a gunshot, uh, like people being killed, uh, raped. We think of the big traumas and we ignore all the little traumas that are happening that are also impacting people's psychological well. Which do you prefer personally, nappy hair or nappy hair or good hair? Um, well, I guess I don't buy into the good hair because part of the, part of the good hair, right. Is that, is that, is that, that's the white standard, right? Right. That's saying it's closer to whiteness. So, right. um, so my daughter who's, who's black biracial, she would be considered to have good hair. Right. Um, but I just say that it's, it's curly, right. Because I don't want her to internalize that there's good hair and bad hair. Right. right. Um, maybe, maybe if we just talk about level of nappiness, that feels less judgmental than good hair, right? But how many people, black people, do we hear talk about good hair? Right. right? Like that's part of what gets internal. That's what that's a great example of the connection with the doll, right? It's like that good hair. And so you prefer the nappy hair or the good hair? I mean, I have locks, so I prefer my <laughs> hair in its natural state. <laughs> I, I noticed that. Black women who wear who comb their hair and straighten their hair and have pretty long black hair, they have good hair and that hair look better on a woman than the nappy hair. Really? So that's your personal preference. But that's most men personal preference. Oh yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Have you noticed yeah. that? I I mean I haven't, but I'm really a go natural kind of person. <laughs> 